Hello, Dr. Ben Lynch. What's the difference between methylfolate and folinic acid? There's a big difference. What you need to understand is what they do. And what they do are two different things. The beautiful thing is your body is able to transform methylfolate back into folinic acid and folinic acid into methylfolate. But it's not easy. There's enzymes for that. Now, let's talk about methylfolate first. Methylfolate is a new big dog on the block, and what methylfolate does is support methylation. Methylfolate methylation. So if you take your methylfolate, you're gonna support your, your me patient's methylation. Now, methylfolate has to work in tandem with methylcobalamin in order for that to happen. Remember that, if you just support methylation with methylfolate, it might not work. Methylcobalamin is needed. Now, methylfolate supporting methylation is really important because methylation supports over 200 some odd enzymatic reactions. Wow, that's impressive. Now, folinic acid, what's it do? Folinic acid supports DNA based production. That's pretty important. Everything on us, from hair to skin to toes to eyes to our lining of our intestines, all this requires DNA based production. Folinic acid is in high, high demand. Your gut lining is repairing itself, hopefully, every seven days. Your entire gut lining shedding, replenishing folinic acid. Now, folinic acid, DNA bases, methylfolate, methylation. Now let's, do, let's give you a little example, a scenario of what, what the difference is here. If patients are undergoing chemotherapy, there's some, many of them are taking methyltrexate. Methyltrexate is a known inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase. This is the enzyme which blocks folic acid from getting into the folate pathway. It's a beautiful thing. Methyltrexate has done wonders for a lot of people. So, there are issues with methyltrexate as with other drugs. So what happens, undergoing chemotherapy, patient's hairs fall out. This doctor asked me, Dr. Lynch, you were mentioning that we shouldn't use folic acid anymore, we should use methylfolate. I had a patient come in with undergoing chemo, their hair fell out, what do I do? I gave methylfolate and their hair didn't grow back. And I wrote back, I said, you know, methylfolate supports methylation and the patients undergoing chemotherapy are probably deficient methylcobalamin and other things. Methylation is probably inhibited. So you might want to use folinic acid. The doctor started prescribing folinic acid to the patient, hair grew back. Why? Hair, it's a lot of DNA, tons of DNA. So I wiped my brow on that one. So you need to understand function and what type. Folinic acid, DNA bases, methylfolate, methylation. Hope that helps you. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015, is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.